What tape should you use in model rocketry? That's what we're going to cover in this episode. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today we're going to talk about all the different tapes that you can use in rocketry and where you would use them. Uh, the first tape is masking tape and you can see this is like the old cheapy stuff. Um, this is used a lot in rocketry. Um, this I always keep a roll of masking tape in the range box. Um, the first place you're going to use it is like on a nose cone. Uh, wrapping the shoulder with some masking tape so that it tightens up the fit so that the nose cone doesn't fall off so easily when you wiggle it. Um, I also use it for taping in rocket motors. So here on this rocket we have the fins and you can see that the, the fins are a little bit further up from the end of the tube and the reason for that is when you slide the motor in you can wrap tape around there and that for this I use masking tape uh, because it's cheap and it's strong enough. Uh, you don't have to go overboard on it um, and it's, it's easy to work with, it's easy to cut um, and it will do just fine. You just wrap it around like that and you can burnish it down. Um, pretty good and then anything that hangs over the edge you can take a knife and simply cut off just like that. Um, an alternative to this um, you see when you have the masking tape you get these fold lines in here and those can cause drag so if you're worried about drag uh, we've come up with a different tape to use and we call it the motor tape strips and we sell them, they're, they're made out of leftover vinyl. Um, it's, it's a good way to recycle, so you're not using up a lot. Uh, <clears throat> these are for, let me peel one off here so you can see what it looks like. They come in different colors depending on our excess vinyl at any given day. Um, you can see they're, they're kind of serrated like that. And when you put them um, on your motor, um, the little little notch right there goes right on the end of the tube and I'm trying to look through there and find the tube and then when you put it down on the rocket um, these are made out of vinyl um, so the vinyl will conform better to the tube and you can see um, like on that little section right there there's there's no folds in the tape because the, the vinyl can stretch as it goes around um, so that's a vinyl tape and we'll talk more about vinyl tape here in just a second. Uh, another use for masking tape is to build up a thrust ring on a rocket engine. This is an Estes E16 um, and if you're going to use it with an engine retainer you can wrap tape around, um, build it up to a thickness so that it will slide into the motor and act as a thrust ring. Um, I use masking tape again because masking tape is probably the cheapest tape that you're going to find. Um, so, you know, you don't want to use expensive tape on that. So that's masking tape. Um, a similar cousin to masking tape is automotive tape. Um, this is a painter's tape, um, but it's very similar to um, masking tape because it is a paper like this. Um, and the advantage of this, um, I think it's the surface. Um, it's, it's so close to masking tape, but if you feel the surface, it's, it's a little bit waxy. And I think they do that so that paint doesn't stick to it very well. So the paint will roll off the edge. Um, you're supposed to get sharper edges with this. Uh, but what I've found is I found a new supply or a new type of paper tape and this is uh, the Tamiya brand of tape. Um, I got a roll that's open right here. This is also a paper tape um, and it's very similar to this except it's thinner um, which makes it really nice for masking. 
Um, so when you when you mask, usually your tape is eventually going to crisscross itself somewhere. Um, and because it's so thin, you can kind of burnish down that edge. And so tape won't go underneath. Um, I used that Tamiya tape on this fin right here. Uh, when you peel it off, you get a really nice crisp line. Um, so that's the Tamiya tape. Uh, the disadvantage of it is it's expensive. Um, it is imported from Japan. Um, it is specifically made for modeling. Um, so there's not a huge demand for this, except for where we are, um, if, because we are doing modeling. So that is the Tamiya tape. Um, and it comes in different widths. Uh, what I always do, anything that I'm gonna use for painting, I keep in the original packaging or in a plastic bag. And the reason for that is when you uh, take a roll of tape, you can feel it, it's kind of sticky on the edges. And when you lay it down on the surface anywhere, it's gonna pick up dust. Um, and it makes the edges fuzzy. Um, and so then you got a, you got like little fuzz hanging off your edge. And then when you might want to paint in a nice straight line, you're going to get fuzz on that edge. And so you're not going to get that nice sh straight line. So keep the edges fuzz free or dust free by storing them in their packaging or a plastic bag. So that is for painting. Um, other, uh, well, other tape is this is a roll of painter's tape. Um, this is the blue tape and the advantage of this over masking tape is that the adhesive is less tacky. Um, so this is not a structural tape. So I wouldn't use this for taping rocket motors in because it's the adhesive just doesn't grab as good. But for taping and masking, um, I use this a lot, uh, particularly when you're doing big areas. And then you want the big, wide, two-inch kind because one strip of tape, you know, can mask a lot of area really quick. Um, and then it peels off easier because it has low tack. Um, uh, but be careful. Don't think you can put it over wet paint or paint that's not fully cured. Um, because the adhesive will grab into the soft paint and then you get a texture on your paint. So make sure your rocket, when you're painting your rocket, before you tape over it with anything, make sure that it's good and hard. Not only dry, but cured. Um, usually when I'm painting, I'll do, I'll wait several days between different colors just so that the, the paint doesn't mar the finish when you're when you're putting it down because when you peel it up and you see a texture yeah that that kind of ruins your paint job ah what else we got uh speaking of other paint tape um, this is tamiya vinyl tape um, now this stuff is made for going around corners so um so the, advan the advantage of vinyl is it's stretchy. So you can stretch it. So you can, you know, see how nice that goes around a corner like that. You could never do that with a paper tape, um, particularly, you know, very tight radius. So here is another painter's tape and I'll do a quick little demonstration for you on this. So this, I'm trying to go around the corner, but you can see it, well, you, I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel lumps in it as it's, um, it's kind of folding over itself. And here at the edge, it actually tore right there. Where vinyl tape, because it's stretchy, you know, you can do really tight corners, um, just like that. Um, so that's the Tamiya vinyl tape. Um, I haven't I haven't had a lot of experience with this yet. Um, we just got that and we're going to be carrying it here at Apogee Components along with the other Tamiya tape. Um, this is vinyl electrical tape. So this in rocketry you'll use whenever you're repairing electrical equipment like your launch controller. Um, it is vinyl, 
Um, so it is stretchy. I don't know if I would use this for masking because the adhesive is probably different, but it can stretch. Um, but the adhesive is, I don't it, it feels different from that. Um, but this, because it's a plastic, it doesn't conduct electricity, which is, you know, if you're ever working with electrical components, you know, that's the sole purpose of electrical tape is to prevent shorting. Um, okay, uh, we also have cellophane tape. Now this I don't use almost never, uh, but in the past, cellophane tape um, is, it has a linear structure to it. So linear means that um, it's kind of like a grain of wood. So um, in one direction, it just tears really, really easy. But if you take the same tape and you try to tear it in the other direction, <laughs> it tore easy, but sometimes it won't even tear. Um, so you gotta be, you gotta be very careful using this because it can be weak in one direction. Um, where it was used in the past a lot was in staging of rockets. Um, Estes in the past and some of their old instructions, when you're staging motors, you know, you put, um, so this is the booster, so the ejection charge will come out and then go into the upper stage motor and ignite it. And so you would tape them together. Um, and then when this one ignited on the bottom, it would burn the tape and the, the cellophane tape has a very low melting point. So it just, um, as soon as that ejection charge goes, you know, it just comes right apart um, and it burns nice and cleanly. You know, I, I had to tear it here, but it would just melt it really fast. Um, so you can still use it for that. Most model rockets um, are, are, are now staged a little bit different. Um, you can just butt them together in two stage. So this one's held in the bottom stage, this one's held in the top stage, and then just butting them together will allow them to stage. Um, they used to wrap cellophane around it just because they were concerned that they wouldn't ignite easily. Um, but I've never had a problem with that igniting the rocket motors. Um, okay, so this here is packaging tape. So if you ever buy Rocket stuff from Apogee Components. Uh, we use this a lot. Um, this is what goes around the box and keeps the box closed. So that's its purpose in the hobby. Actually, there's one other purpose. Um, we also use this for um, streamers. So on a streamer, like a, a, a Mylar streamer like this, um, we have to attach a shock cord to it. So what you can use is uh, packing tape like this. Um, you, just, you just lay your mylar in it. Let me make it a little bit longer here. I know this is clear and it's hard to see, uh, but say I had my shock cord on this end, you just lay it inside, put it down, you know, on half of it. Um, then you take your knife, you'd cut it, there, you'd cut it here. Okay, and then you'd lay your shock cord right in the gap and then just fold it over and press it down and then that would capture the shock cord in there. Uh, one of the things I also do is put a knot on the other end so that it can't pull through. Um, on this particular rocket, um, you can see it's a gold colored tape um, and that's actually a mylar tape like this. Um, so you could also use mylar tape for the same thing. Um, I would use probably use this because it's cheaper than mylar. Mylar is um, it's polyethylene tape with an adhesive on it, and this has an aluminum uh, coating on it, so it gives it a nice shiny appearance. Um, so if you want a little bit more reflectivity, you know, to see your rocket further away, you know, the sun glistens off of it. You get this nice little shiny um, spark in the sky of, of the sun shining, reflecting off of the tape. Um, so that's the advantage of, a, of an aluminized mylar tape. And it comes in different colors. Um, this is a silver, this is gold. I've seen red. 
I've seen holographic colors. Um, it comes in a variety of colors. You can get this you know, online at a variety of stores. We don't sell it because it, it only has very limited uses in rocketry. Um, and then um, vinyl tapes we talked about before. Um, you know, the motor tape strips were made out of vinyl. Um, the vinyl for uh, the Tamiya brand. Um, I've also used vinyl on parachutes to reinforce the corners. Um, these, these hole reinforcements, they're made out of vinyl um, and they're pretty strong. Um, they don't tear is, is what they will. They will stretch though a little bit if you pull too hard on them. Um, but it sticks really good and they're foldable and they, they're resilient and they bounce back. So that is um, vinyl tape. Um, and then finally, uh, we have something, we call it hinge tape. And it's really not a tape, it's a cloth. Um, this we use as a hinge material um, and it's actually laid across the surface of balsa wood. Um, and you can't even see it because it's so thin and you can paint over it. Um, and this has to be attached with super glue. So it's a little bit tricky to put on, but then you get a permanent hinge that will never rip. Um, this stuff is made out of nylon. Um, so it's a spun woven nylon. So they just take a gun and they shoot nylon down on a sheet um, and then it dries. It, it kind of looks like a bounce fabric softener material. Uh, but this doesn't have any residues, you know, on bounce fabric softener. They're putting some kind of oil on it um, that goes inside your dryer. Um, this doesn't have any of that oil on it. So that's why we can use super glue to stick to it. Um, so we sell this here uh, um, for some of our helicopter models um, that have a living hinge. It's called a living hinge because it's, um, it's not like a metal hinge. See here is our little um, name of the rocket. <laughs> so when customers come in, they can see the name of the rocket and the part number so they can order it. So that is my synopsis of all the different tapes that we use in rocketry and how you would use them. If you have any questions, you can always ask us here at Apogee Components. Go to our website and use our contact form. That's the easiest way for us to answer. Um, if you like this video, uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up um, and share it with your friends so that uh, they, they can learn about rocketry tape as well. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rock Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.